Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another apartment renovation. Today I'm renovating Pinecrest Apartments number 402 in Evergreen Harbor and we're using the new industrial loft kit today. I really wanted to build something with this and so I immediately started working on an apartment. For some reason, even though this is inspired by like Brooklyn lofts, I really wanted to build an Evergreen Harbor with it. I think maybe because I wanted like a lower to the ground building and I just like the shapes of these better. So we are building here instead, but I would totally be down to do some more apartments in San Luis, you know, using this kit. Let me know what you guys would like to see and we could probably make it happen. But anyway, this is going to be a one bedroom, one bathroom. It's sort of like a studio layout because there isn't like a separate bedroom. It's it's lofted. I wanted to make it just be a little step up to the bedroom space and then that allowed me to do a different layout than I've ever done in this apartment and I kind of love it. <laughs> I had so much fun with this particular build. I know it's a little bit harsh on my review of this kit and I still feel that way. I am happy that they're going to be patching in the window but it's frustrating that that was even a problem to begin with and I wish there were some things that were a little bit more cohesive, like the windows and doors are just kind of, it's complicated. I feel like I've gone over it already, but essentially I feel like they don't quite fit and it's, I, I wish they were better. So I like the concept of this kit. I love industrial design. I love the furniture items, but I'm still a little bit disappointed overall with it. But with that being said, I had a blast decorating this apartment just because it's so my style and it's new content and it was fun to decorate with this. So I am excited to share it with you guys today. I think it came out really fun and uh, yeah. So right now I am adding some piping to the walls here hanging from the ceiling. I think adding that to the game was really cool. I know some people aren't too fond of that because like not everyone wants to use the piping but for this style, I think it adds a lot to the build. I really like how that looks. I don't really care for the upright pipe that I put here by the front hallway window, but the ones you can connect together and put on the walls, I think are really, really cool. And I particularly like this like rusted brownish swatch that I used. This gear though, I don't really like, but I, I was like, you know what? I'm trying to use most, if not all of the items in this pack uh, or in this kit, in this build. So I decided to use it in the bedroom, but I really don't see myself using that piece of artwork ever really outside of a couple of builds right now when this pack came out. But I will see myself probably using the couches and the end tables and the coffee table and the bed. Like I'm probably gonna get a lot of use out of it. And I think a lot of the items that came with this would work really nicely for like a coffee shop. Uh, I know that was suggested in my Discord server and on stream yesterday, so hopefully sometime soon I can do some sort of like industrial coffee shop. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I think that could be a fun thing to do. But for right now, I'm just figuring out some decorations. I did use this bookcase from the university pack. It's made of wood and pipes and it just, it seemed like it fit the style of this apartment. So I put that in there and also those beautiful lights that are like a wall art piece from City Living. I put that in the kitchen space that we're gonna be decorating a little bit later, but I'm just messing around with the swatches, trying to make everything look pretty cohesive in here and a little bit like crammed together as well. I was also inspired by that little, I guess it's not little, it's pretty big. The wall art piece that we got with this, that is like a decal, like faded paint on the wall. I think those are so pretty, but it has a bike on it. And so I was like, oh, Maybe I should put a bike in this loft space as well. And I just like tucked that up on that second level as a good place to store it. And then you can use that to drive around or not drive, bike around uh, the world of Evergreen Harbor. And then over here, I really like this new TV stand that we got or console table. It has like legs on one side and a wheel on the other. And I thought that that was unique and a cool piece to have. And I really like the more like detailed swatches that have this really cool wood texture on them. It is kind of frustrating though that the swatches don't like perfectly match the kitchen set because it seems like they were supposed to because they have the same like texture and stuff, the less textured ones, but the swatches are just so slightly off that the colors don't quite match. I'm not sure if that was a mistake or not, but uh, I just kind of wish they did match because I do really like this style. But anyway, in the entryway here, I am using a base game coffee table or console table 
as I didn't want to use the same one that we used for the TV, I also put the dresser that we got with this pack or the little closet in the hallway space. I figured it could kind of double as clothing storage for the bedroom as well as like a place to put coats on your way out. Just with the layout of this place, I thought that that was the best spot for it. We have like this little hallway as you enter and I think it's really cute. Uh, it allowed me to have the nice loft bedroom with that window that made a lot of sense in that space because with the full length windows in this apartment, this is the updated version of this apartment in Evergreen Harbor. You can do like neighborhood action plans and update the environment. Uh, having a platform in front of a full length window looks a little odd, so I opted to have the loft space over here instead and then I'm putting the clothing rack that came with the mosquito pack up here as well. I just thought the busyness I was adding in this apartment looked really good and so having an open closet space made a lot of sense to me. So that's what I went with. I really love the orange swatch on these couches and the chair. There's just something about it that was talking to me. It was speaking to me. I needed to use it. It made me very happy. And then we should be working on the kitchen now using these base game counters. Actually, I think this is my first video coming out that has a different reshade than normal. Uh, I've been playing around with a couple. I think this is the one that I like the best so far. I asked for some suggestions over on Twitter over the last couple of days to see what reshades you guys recommend. And uh, that's basically because I've had the same one for years and I just wanted to mess around and check things out because I was starting to get tired of how bright my reshade was. So uh, this one I believe is Dove. 2.0. I think that's by Kindle Spice. I'm pretty sure. And I think it's really pretty. I might uh, go in and try and tweak it a little bit to see if there's anything I want to change, but I think it's so cute. <laughs> and so I might be keeping this. I might not. Of course, if you guys have any suggestions of other reshades, do let me know. I did this whole little spiel in another voiceover that is for a build that hasn't come out yet that will be out on the channel in a couple of days. So uh, apologize in advance if you hear it again sometime soon. But yeah, that's the reshade that I am using in this video right now. I think it's really pretty. It's like soft, but it's also really bright. It's so different than the one I was using before. And it just felt like it was time for a change. <laughs> I've had it for so long, the other one, that it's not really even available to find online. Uh, I believe we I have the link for the download on sims file share my old one but like there's not like a public spot that it's posted anymore because i got it so long ago um but yeah anyway in the kitchen space here i just have the new high top table that we got with this and the little terrarium up top i opted for a trash chute in here instead of a regular trash can i was building a industrial tiny house on stream last night over on twitch.tv slash miss griffey and I went to go put a trash can down and somebody was like, what about a trash chute? And something about it just like works really nicely in this apartment. So I decided to opt to do that in this apartment as well. And then just getting a couple more decorations. I'm pretty sure I just end up getting sauces up here. And then did we already get the utensils by the stove? No, I'm going to get some utensils by the stove. <laughs> I just wanted it to be lived in, but I didn't want it to be messy or too cluttered in this space because I feel like the decorations themselves and the size of the apartment already made it feel a little bit cluttered. I didn't go over the top with like all sorts of extra things on surfaces. I wanted to keep it pretty simple, but I think the nature of just the design of this apartment makes it look cluttered anyway. And I'm, I'm just really happy with how it came out. I hope you guys like it as well. Please do let me know what you think. Uh, what else you'd like to see on the channel? I'm having a blast building. Uh, if you didn't know, I took like a small break. There was videos going up while I was gone. Uh, but I uh, escaped to the, um, I guess, countryside a little bit and spent a couple of days in a tiny house with a sleeping loft, which was absolutely magical, on a farm and just fresh eggs in the morning, chickens, beautiful gardens. It was fantastic. And I'm back now and I'm feeling a lot better and excited to make some more content. So there is my little spiel. I'm just rambling at you now. We're finishing up the bathroom with this painting over the toilet from the mosquito pack. And then we're heading on into screenshots. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all soon. Bye everybody.